Sarah had a wicked smile as she dusted the dirt from her hands. A strong smell hung in the air, thick and horrid. As she glanced at the yard before her, she felt satisfied. Her neighbor had been taking advantage, and now she was getting her revenge. He would no longer get away with this. All she had to do now was wait. Before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. Sarah Jacobs was fed up. Over the course of a few weeks, she watched helplessly as one of her neighbors ruined her yard. She noticed the man ever so often. He would hop over the fence into one of her flower beds and then venture into the street. He was using her yard as a shortcut. She's asked him multiple times to stop, but he refused. She was sick and tired of being nice. She took a long sip of her steaming cup of coffee. She couldn't wait a second longer. This man had been abusing her yard at his convenience, and now he was going to learn a costly lesson. She watched as the man tossed his bag into her yard, just like he had every other morning, but this time it landed straight into her trap. With a smirk on her face, she watched as the man raised himself over the fence next, and then, just like every other day, he dropped into her flower bed. Usually, he would be met by soft, lush bushes of flowers, but this time, he landed in the disgusting substance. From where she was standing, she could see the surprised look on his face. Then she heard it. The man's scream echoed through the small yard and into her home. With a grin, the older woman placed her cup on a nearby counter and made her way toward the door. Ex-Marine Sarah Jacobs was living her best life in Phoenix, Arizona. Having retired just a few months prior, she was enjoying a quiet life in the suburbs. Although she hadn't been there for long, her neighbors made her feel right at home. But there was one neighbor that got on her nerves. His name was Nicholas, and he had no respect for her boundary. Nicholas's house was situated right behind Sarah's, and there was one thing they did not seem to agree on. Every morning, Nicholas would have to take a bus into town. In order to get to the bus stop, he would have to walk around the block. But he had discovered that he could take a shortcut through Sarah's yard. This way, he would save around 10 minutes of his journey. Over time, this completely destroyed the flowers she had grown. She had spoken to him about this problem, but he didn't seem to care. It was a Monday morning. Sarah had just woken up and was in the process of brewing a pot of coffee. Walking to the sink, she glanced through her window that pointed into her yard. It was just then that she caught Nicholas in the act. He tossed his bag over the fence and a second later, he hopped over the fence too. With a hand on her hip, she watched as the man casually walked through her yard. The flower bush he had jumped into was flattened and she was furious. He had no idea who he was messing with. She was going to get her revenge if it was the last thing she ever did. She stood motionless before the window, planning her next move. It took some time, but she knew just what she had to do. That afternoon, while Nicholas was away at work, Sarah began putting her plan into action. If he wasn't going to respect her wishes on his own, she would punish him. It was just past noon when the older woman hopped into her car and made her way to the nearest nursery. She had thought of the perfect way to get back at her obnoxious neighbor. She had to work fast. She didn't want Nicholas to suspect anything, but she couldn't wait to see his reaction once he stepped into her trap. She couldn't stop smirking as she made her way home. She dragged the two heavy bags with her. Cutting them open, she got to work, covering the soil and plants in thick compost. The smell was overwhelming, but she knew that it would pay off. She decided to empty both bags into the small flower bed that her neighbor had been abusing for so long. Once the ground was covered in a thick layer of compost, the older woman grabbed a hose pipe. She spent the next 30 minutes wetting the compost. She wanted to make sure it was soaking wet and muddy. Her intention was to ruin the man's entire day. The smell was horrible, but that's what she was going for. As Sarah finished off her dirty work, she had no idea that someone else had been watching her from the moment she had opened the compost bags. But this individual didn't want to rat her out. Their intentions were far more sinister than that. The veteran wouldn't see it coming. Sarah was unaware of the problem she had created. All she wanted to do was get revenge on her neighbor. But now, before she could do that, she would have to deal with a problem she never expected. Two bulbous eyes were watching Sarah from a safe distance. It was cruel and calculating. 
Many people underestimated just how intelligent the creature watching Sarah could be. Would she underestimate it when the time came? The creature was attracted to the smell of the compost that Sarah had laid down for her neighbor. Little did she know that it would backfire in the most dreadful way. The creature watching Sarah started to get impatient for its next meal. It decided to inch closer, moving its leathery body from branch to branch. The only thing on its mind was a source of food. Coincidentally, Sarah was the perfect candidate to feed it. The closer it got to her, the faster it breathed. It was licking its lips. The animal steadied its body, preparing for the perfect pounce. This predator had done it hundreds of times before, but it had never found prey quite like this. The veteran's senses were tingling as she knew she was in immediate danger. But she still didn't know where. Would she be able to save herself? Sarah tensed every muscle in her body as she prepared herself for an attack. But that's when she saw movement out of the corner of her eye. Now that she knew where the threat was coming from, she could defend herself. The brown fur flashed across the lawn, making a beeline for the compost. She acted on pure instinct and adrenaline. Sarah rushed towards the creature. The animal froze as soon as Sarah stepped between it and the compost heap. She stared it down, but as soon as she realized what it was, she let out a deep breath. The brown rat standing before her couldn't have been what her instinct warned her about. But as she tried to make sense of the situation, she heard a sound from her left. Sarah immediately got back on the defensive as she heard a sound to her left. I was the sound of something moving across leaves, but it wasn't stepping on it. It was as if something was being dragged across them. Horror took over her face as she was about to face the real threat. A second later it happened. The serpent launched itself out of a nearby bush towards Sarah. She prepared herself for the worst. Sarah was ready to defend herself, but that's when she noticed that the snake wasn't going for her. It was going for the rat. It barely managed to escape through a hole in her fence. Defeated, the snake slinked away. Sarah had never been the type to pull these kinds of pranks on those around her, but as far as she was concerned, the rude man deserved it. He had been destroying her flower beds. Sarah had a wicked smile as she dusted the dirt from her hands. A strong smell hung in the air, thick and horrid. As she glanced at the yard before her, she felt satisfied. Her neighbor had been taking advantage, and now she was getting her revenge. They would no longer get away with this. All she had to do now was wait. Once she was done, she tossed the empty comport bags in the bin and headed inside to clean herself up. The awful smell had reached the inside of her home, but she didn't mind. She closed most of her back windows and took a long shower, washing the soil and stress from her body. She couldn't wait until morning. Nicholas was going to get a taste of his own medicine. She spent the night rolling around in her bed. She was too excited for the morning to come, and she barely managed to sleep because of it. But before long, her bedroom was filled with daylight. She got up instantly when she checked the time. He would hop over the fence every morning at 7.30 sharp. She only had a few minutes to set up. Running to the kitchen, she made herself a cup of coffee. Her eyes didn't leave the yard for a second as she stood in front of the window by her sink. Over the last few weeks, she had been paying close attention to Nicholas's schedule. If all went according to plan, he would hop over the fence at any moment. She couldn't wait. She had planned this out meticulously. Today was the day she was finally going to teach him a lesson. She took a long sip of her steaming cup of coffee. She couldn't wait a second longer. This man had been abusing her yard at his convenience, and now he was going to learn a costly lesson. Her eyebrows raised when she saw movement on the other side of the fence. She watched as Nicholas tossed his bag into her yard, just like he had every other morning. But this time, it landed straight into her trap. She had to cover her mouth with her hand to stop herself from laughing. The bag had landed deep in the compost and so did the contents of the bag. It was all ruined. Sarah whispered an enthusiastic, yes, under her breath as she looked at the scene unfolding before her eyes. It was all going according to plan. With a smirk on her face, she watched as he raised himself over the fence next. And then, just like every other day, he dropped into her flower bed. 
Usually he would be met by soft, lush bushes of flowers, but this time he landed in the disgusting substance. From where she was standing, she could see the surprised look on his face. Then she heard it. His scream echoed through the small yard and into her home. With a grin, the older woman placed her cup on a nearby counter and made her way toward the door. He had gotten away with this for far too long and she was going to laugh in his face. He had dropped straight into her trap. Sarah prepared herself to walk outside, but that's when she realized that he had screamed for another reason. She saw it go back into the bushes. It was the snake from earlier. The snake seemed equally startled by the man and raced off. She couldn't have planned it better. Not only was he covered in compost, but he also got the scare of his life. Stepping outside, she could see Nicholas in the thick, muddy substance. His clothes, face, and hair were covered in it. No, what is this? He yelled. As he tried to get up, he slipped and fell back in. She leaned against a nearby wall, and when he looked up at her, he instantly noticed her smirk. He was furious. How's it going, Nick? Looks like you're in a bit of a sticky situation. She snorted. The look on the man's face was priceless. He was fuming as he got up and grabbed his things from the compost. He was too angry to speak and decided to jump back over to his yard. 